playing against uh, Aston Villa. See what happens. A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. A mouth-watering prospect awaits. Stay tuned to EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's the absolute mad lads, and they take on Fulham. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, he tried in. Bain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out for that. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season. Highly competitive, especially at the summit. Well, what a great title race this looks like, Ben. Yes, there's a long way to go, but it's difficult to split these teams at the moment. Let's hope I'm right. Could cross it in here. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, a goal update for you in the Newcastle game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Palace. It's now 1-0 with 13 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Is this the moment? They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Good use of advantage by the referee. Ansgar Knauf. A oh, good vision there. Now the absolute mad lads regaining possession. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And defensive play to be applauded. Ilic. Well, not giving him any breathing room. This is a message for Owen Kennedy. Owen, happy birthday. From your friend Jonathan Fish. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. A very effective clearance. Perfect tackle. Beck. Brace. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
So away they go again. The lads still trailing, but the belief is very much back. Well, good run and good ball control. And what a magical save it was! Who can he pick out? And defending right on the line. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming. And now a free kick. Well, nothing comes of it. being afforded too much room Pedri well unable to hold this run and that's offside Well, almost on the cusp of the half-time interval and the absolute mad lads are trailing, albeit narrowly. What have you made of it all so far, Stuart? Well, it's been a good game so far and they've played a big part in that. But if they are to get back into this, they need to be more disciplined defensively. They've just been too open at times. Chance to cross. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw-in to come. Pedri. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Incisive pass. Impudent efforts. The first half here comes to an end. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Oh, great attacking play. And great work to confuse the defender. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Oh, genuine chance. Well, in position to make it a brace, but not to be. Well, he's certainly been a threat in this game. He's looked so lively. Clearance needed to be better. Oh, he saved it well. Corner again. Blocking it. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And there's the delivery. And putting Fade to the danger. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Ray. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. Delighted that you're with us. And not very much and on the back of that particular challenge. Will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card, it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Options in the middle. And so much space for mad lads out wide. Teammate available. And made sure the pass wasn't troublesome. Race. Over the touchline for a throw in. Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. And credit due, a good intervention. 
Pedri. Promising move from Mad Lads. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top class save, I have to say. Keen to take it short here. And a promising looking at. Attack, but comes to nothing in the end being pressed and pressed high this attack looks highly promising and how about that for a save Fulham well, recovering possession well don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV it's Fulham facing Manchester United. Released it nicely. Takes aim! Well, didn't miss by very much, and never easy to strike it on the volley in that fashion. Well, from that range, though, it should be a goal. At least it should hit the target. Well, as you can see, it's been all mad lads over the last 15 minutes, and they've created chances. It just now needs one of those chances to be taken, but you feel it's coming. Yes, it might be on for them once more. Could be! Not out of the woods yet! It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. And goal news to bring you in the Brighton game, and Alex Scott has the details. It's another for Brighton. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great headed finish. They've pulled ahead by two with 76 minutes on the clock. Alex, thank you very much. Josh Eccles. Good movement. Might lead to a chance. Could be. Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. And the absolute mad lads finding space on the flank. Cuts it back and able to get a body in the way. And a very good challenge. Mali prevented it from going over the line. But he keeps going. Will it be? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, just the tackle that was needed. High pressing at its best. Ledesma. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Oh, that's a really good run. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't... Please, I would say, probably could have done much, much better than that. Very tough game, man. Very tough game. You were better, to be honest. Yeah, it's Just a couple of questions for you. No. No, man, no. Too many games, man, seriously.
good man. What do you want to do? Large game for now. तो फाक करो The one to the nice, he is really good. Very difficult match to predict the outcome of. The best defence in the league taking on the freest scoring side in the division. Who will prevail? Hello, a warm welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us today to the Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City against the absolute mad lads. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Now a decent position. Well, going for power, and so close to finding the net. Oh, the 
keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Simons. Now, Madlaz could get in behind the defence. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, the absolute mad lads now in potentially a dangerous position. Now, this could be productive. Able to get his body in the way. Well, it's usually quite hard to predict the outcome of a game like this. On the one hand, you have the hosts with a watertight defence. On the other, the visitors who score goals for fun, Stuart. Well, Derek, something has to give here, doesn't it? They've both been really good, but in different ways. Let's hope it's a really good game, though. Mikola Shaparenko. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. Crossing opportunity and drawing it back. Mikola Shaparenko. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And a goal! Now they have the opener, and now they can celebrate. Good physical play. And a change to the scoreline in the Palace game. Alex Scott can tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. They're the first on the score sheet here with 23 minutes played. Wonderful chance. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. And he pulls up the attack with a masterful tackle. Good use of advantage. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much, hence the award of a free kick by the referee. That's a lovely ball. Prepare to take on the shot. What a powerful effort, but just wide. Schlager. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Lewis. And he read it well, intercepting it. Succeeded in keeping it in play. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Mikola Shaparenko. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Lewis. And Ramirez has it. Simons. 
Chance to cross. So a set-piece opportunity coming up for the Mad Lads as they try to battle back. Not the most confident clearance. Borges. And it's a quality pass. Well, nothing productive, really. Well, no more time. Into the second half, then. Leicester with the advantage, but certainly no room for complacency. Possession one. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Race. Could cross it in here. Now veering in field. An important challenge, but they mu real chance. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Nicolas Gonzalez. Schlager. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Leicester City facing Manchester United. And still danger here. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that strike. He opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball. A great finish. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Right, let's join Alex Scott for an update. Alex, I believe a goal at Anfield. Yeah, it's a goal for Spurs. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with... <laughs> 57 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Elects to go short. And the cross goes in. Succession, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and they work it well just to change the angle on the cross. And the finish is really well taken because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, no shortage of live action coming your way right here on EA TV. And Stuart and I looking forward to being with you for this match. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair.
Will he play it in? He must finish! Keeper could be in trouble. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it! Pure brilliance! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the finish is really good. He just dinks it over the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So they continue with the game. And the absolute mad lads almost out of sight here. News coming through from Selhurst Park. There's been a goal there, I think, Alex. It's a goal for Palace. It was a low-driven cross, and he was never going to miss from there. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 67 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Good weight on that pass. Could be! And not cleared away properly. And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. John Scott, that's John Scott. Please make your way to the office. You have your wife's ticket. Thank you. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And fired from the flank into the area. Now breaking at pace, potential danger. It comes to absolutely nothing. Plenty of support here. But really sticking to the task defensively. Nicolas Gonzalez. And space for him to cut in. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. Played over, and that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yeah, it was Arsenal that was awarded the penalty, but the goalkeeper pulled out a worldie of a save. Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. And a throw in for Leicester City. And unable to keep the ball. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Oh, breezing past him. Spot on with that tackle. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. And he's clear as lines. Can't miss, surely. Blocking it. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors. Well, this was always going to be a test of their attacking qualities. But I thought they were brilliant today. They totally outplayed a very good defensive side. I think I'm the first team at all of them. He's been very good, but you know, he just, you know. This is crazy. Oh, 
Wow. All right, just a couple of questions for you. Thanks so much. Okay, guys. Let's play later. Bye.